I'm going to give you 23 tips to help make you instantly better at Modern Warfare 2. By helping you get higher kills, go on higher gun streaks, and win more matches in just one hour from watching this video. Now, the first tip I have should be one of your biggest priorities when you start playing Modern Warfare 2, and that's to help you rank up quickly. One of the biggest skill gaps at the start of a game is between people that have everything unlocked and available to them from weapons, equipment, and perks to those that have nothing. So you're going to want to use the fastest leveling method possible, which is playing Invasion. Now, Invasion takes place on ground war maps and involves 20 real players and 20 bots. This means you'll find yourself coming up against a larger number of players compared to traditional 6v6, which gives you a much bigger opportunity to get more experience in every single game, especially because the bots are really easy to kill. So before you get into a game, pop a double experience token if you have one, and then just start slaying. Though the biggest tip I've got for you in this mode is play a little slower and take advantage of all the bots who will start to push your position the more you kill them. Make enemies more obvious. My next tip I cannot stress for you to do enough because it'll instantly allow you to spot enemies so much easier especially if there's explosions or other effects going off because enemies just stand out so much more clearly and that's by changing the enemy player indicator within your settings. To do this, all you need to do is write in color customization in this search bar and then scroll down to enemy. Then within hex, I want you to write hashtag FF05FF. This will make your indicators bright pink, which stands out against every other color in the game. So you'll never have a situation where you are like, oh damn, I just couldn't see him. Just doesn't happen. Also, if you want to get your kill streaks more often when playing objective modes, make sure in the kill streak menu, change your kill streaks to score streaks. This is actually a technique I used to abuse back in Black Ops 2. But if you protect a flag, you'll get almost double score for every single kill that you pick up, meaning you'd only need to get four or five kills whilst defending an objective to get the highest streaks in the game. Score streaks are the way forward. My next tip is perfect if you're looking to test out your class setups and also want to work on improving your aim at the same time. And that's to take advantage of the brand new firing range. To do this, all you've got to do is head to your barracks and press Y or triangle to enter the range. Then you'll have three different targets at 10 meters, 20 meters, and 30 meters. And though this is quite basic, you'll have the opportunity to test your loadouts and see what your accuracy percentage is. Personally, whenever I unlock a new gun or earn some new attachments, I'll quickly head here to see how it performs. And if you're for some reason struggling to maintain a 20 to 30% accuracy whilst firing against these targets, I'd recommend switching up your loadout and try and make a build with less recoil. This is also going to be a must visit location when you start tuning your attachments. Just spend the time getting familiar with your guns here and it'll pay off in the match. Now, my next tip to help you to get better at Modern Warfare 2 is to do with your minimap. Because I'm sure you're aware, red dots have been removed for firing an unsuppressed weapon, but it still gives you tons of information to figure out where your opponents are going to be, even without that. First of all, pay attention to where your teammates are spawning when they get taken out. This will give you a clear indication of where the majority of the players are going to be. Also, fill in the dead space. If your teammates are all in one area of the map, the spawns are based on squad spawn mechanics. So they'll be spawning in bulk in almost the opposite corner to your team. It will take you some time to learn the spawns properly, but as soon as you do, you'll be able to play Modern Warfare 2 a lot more aggressively. Now, as I'm sure you're already aware, movement in Modern Warfare 2 has been drastically tuned down. You can't slide cancel, you can't bunny hop, but there is one thing that you can do which is going to make you a better player. When you go to challenge a fight, you need to tack sprint jump into the corner. This will allow you to ADS and start shooting while still carrying the momentum from the tack jump. This is quite literally the only way you can aggressively push a position now, so spend some time practicing it so you can accurately land your shots whilst you're jumping in midair. My next biggest tip that you also want to think about is abuse rotational aim assist. This is quite frankly the most broken thing in Modern Warfare 2 and will do the majority of the aiming for you. And that's make sure that in every gunfight, your left thumbstick is seen as moving. 
One little trick you can do to do this, other than strafing all the time, is going into your dead zone settings and turning your left thumbstick dead zone all the way down. So your left thumbstick is technically always moving. This will trigger rotational aim assist and track opponents for you when they run across your crosshairs. Yeah, it's that broken. My next biggest tip for you to do much better in Modern Warfare 2 is to remember positioning is king in this game. Spend a little bit of time learning the maps. One of the best ways to do this is just booting them up in a private match and running around. I've already gone and done this for a good couple of hours, learning every route and line of sight that I possibly can. This will help you find those power positions on the map, and most of the time with the map design in Modern Warfare 2, height is king. Though there will also be a fair few head glitch opportunities that will make it tough for your opponents to take you down. My next tip for you is to also spend some time making sure you've got the best class perks. The Phantom Perk Package is a good start as it will give you Ghost which will keep you completely off the enemy team's minimap unless they drop an advanced UAV which isn't going to happen all the time unless they're running score streaks. But if you want to start getting those high kill games, the strongest perk in the entire game in my opinion is actually Quick Fix. This will give you a stim effect after every single kill meaning you can take on multiple opponents and still come out on top as you'll enter each fight with max health without the need for the stim equipment. And with your total health pool in Modern Warfare 2 being very low and the time to kill being ridiculously quick, Quick Fix is my go-to perk. You'll also want to start running Battle Hardened as everyone is running flashbangs right now and then depending on your skill level, either Bomb Squad or Scavenger if you're going for those high kill streak games. My next tip is for you to run deployable cover as your field upgrade. With the slower paced nature of Modern Warfare 2, the ability for you to drop a deployable piece of cover on an objective is completely overpowered. It'll protect you from grenades and make it ridiculously difficult for an opponent to be able to push you. You can also do things like use it to protect your back if you've got a piece of cover in front of you, which can make all the difference in holding down an objective. Another big tip to get better at Modern Warfare 2 is to work on improving your aim, as the time to kill in MW2 is incredibly quick, so make sure you're centering your crosshairs on danger points in front of you at all time, so you're ready for your opponents. I'll also be having a detailed aim guide coming up, so make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. My next biggest tip for you to get better at MW2 is please make sure you're using your equipment. The amount of players that I see not using their stuns or grenades every single life blows my mind. You can either use it off spawn or just to quickly check around a corner before you go around it because if you get that hit marker you know that you need to be ready for a fight or you can take advantage of the tax sprint jump that we learned earlier in the video and all those grenades and stuns are just going to help out your team. Next, if you're struggling with Modern Warfare 2, please make sure you just slow your gameplay down. Remember, positioning is king and you don't need to be sprinting into every single gunfight. Maybe try and hold a stronger angle or position on a lane on the map, or just stick with your teammates and be ready to trade kills. But just start with a slower paced gameplay style and increase it as you get more confident with the game. 